Hey everyone, thanks for watching the Inebrius channel. Today we're going to talk about Campari, give you a little bit of its history, where it comes from, what it tastes like, and some of the more popular cocktails in which Campari is an ingredient. So Campari was created in, I believe, 1860 by a guy named Gaspare Campari uh, in Navarro, Italy, which is near Milan. Uh, he had some initial success with Campari as a drink on its own, also in a drink, oddly enough, called the Americano. Uh, even though Campari had not yet been distributed to the United States and then uh, opened a bar in Milan right next to the Duomo. That bar is still there uh, and you can still have a Negroni there. Here's a picture of me having a Negroni at that bar. Anyway, so uh, Campari is a bitter. Uh, it's not a bitters like uh, Angostura bitters or something that you serve as a dash. It's a bitter liqueur. Uh, it's most often drank straight on its own, uh, often over ice. In Italy, you can also get a Campari soda, which is uh, bottled as a Campari soda in a cool little triangular bottle. And that's at 10% alcohol, and it's basically just Campari and club soda. The primary taste uh, is orange, orange peel, I guess. So when you pour it out, uh, Campari is very red. Obviously, you can see in the bottle and in the shot glass. Uh, when Gaspari passed away, his sons took over the business and they decided to start uh, making Campari on a larger scale and distribute it out to restaurants and bars. And today, it is obviously a global brand. You can buy Campari all over the world. So let's go ahead and give that a taste. Well, first a smell. Uh, you definitely smell a whole lot of orange peel. It smells bitter, uh, kind of like when you're cooking kale, you can get that smell of bitter. It's uh, not gonna taste like kale, but uh, you can tell that this is gonna taste slightly bitter. And there is obviously an overall sweetness to it as well. I like Campari straight. Um, it is bitter. It's most often drank in the United States as a part of a Negroni um, or a Campari spritz or something that uh, adds more sweetness to it and kind of mellows out that bitter flavor. Uh, but throughout the world, it's most often drank straight, uh, often over ice. Here in the United States, Campari is 24% alcohol. Or it varies throughout the world what alcohol level it's packaged at. Uh, it used to get its red color from uh, little bugs that uh, feed on cactus, but it doesn't anymore, at least for what's packaged in the United States, mostly because of uh, reported allergies to that red food coloring but it maintains its reddish color in the bottle through uh, different coloring methods. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but it's not uh, from cochineal bugs anymore. I still get that bitter aftertaste from, from this. It's very pleasant. Uh, I understand why people drink it straight. It is uh, an aperitif, which is something that you're supposed to drink before a meal to stimulate your appetite. Uh, as opposed to a digestive, which is something you drink after a meal uh, in order to stimulate digestion. And if you have a shot of Campari right before a meal, you'll see what they mean uh, by an aperitif, and I highly recommend it. If you were thinking about buying a bottle of Campari so that you could try a Negroni at home, uh, do it. Uh, in my opinion, everybody should know what a Negroni tastes like. Uh, and more importantly, you would be buying a bottle of Campari not just for the Negroni, but there are other ways to try it as well. So this video is going to kick off a playlist of all of the different drinks that I've made that include Campari as an ingredient. The Negroni obviously is one of them. I have a Negroni riff called uh, Mocha Groni, which uses coffee and chocolate liqueurs in it. But also I'll be adding videos to that playlist to uh, have different drinks that you can make out of your bottle of Campari should you decide to buy one. Thanks for watching the Inebrius channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos on different liqueurs and alcohol education, uh, and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video.